Welcome friends, welcome to our channel. Here we discuss the detailed solutions of questions from different competitive exams on physics like IIT exam, NET, TIFR, JEST, etc. Along with that, we will also provide you the theoretical concepts of crucial topics of physics. So subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss an update from SS Space Time. Welcome friends, today we will analyze the physics syllabus of IIT exam 2019. So it, it's basically divided into seven sections. The first section is mathematical methods. The second section is mechanics and general properties of matter. Third section is oscillations, waves and optics. Fourth one is electricity and magnetism. Fifth one is kinetic theory and thermodynamics. Sixth one is modern physics. And the last or seventh one is solid state physics, devices and electronics. So we'll analyze the whole syllabus one by one. So at first mathematical methods. So what are the topics uh, um, there in mathematical methods? So it is starting with calculus of single and multiple variables. Then partial derivatives, Jacobian, imperfect and perfect differential. So these are basically very simple, simple topics. So you can um, read these topic from Spigel book. Then Taylor expansion, it's basically some expansion which is which has uh, many form. Taylor expansion is there in one dimension or in two dimension. So we basically deal with uh, one dimension but uh, two dimension Taylor expansion is also there. Then Fourier series, Fourier series is basically a simple thing. Uh, you, you need to remind a few formulas for this Fourier series and uh, Fourier at and uh, different expressions in uh, different intervals uh, so you can uh, read it from uh, B.S. Grawal or uh, Chris Zieg or Arfgen is there then vector algebra can be read from Spigel vector calculus multiple integrals divergence theorem Green's theorem, Stokes theorem. Um, this part, vector part, can be uh, read from Spigel book. Then first order differential equations, linear, seca linear, second order differential equations with constant coefficients. So, um, if you want to uh, read briefly for this topic, you can consult with um, Dr. B. S. Grewal or on another. Um, national level book is there HK, by HK Das. So those two books are uh, quite simple and easy to understand. So you can uh, read those books and uh, remember one thing Arfken and Crazy these are two standard books. So you can read you can read these two books after completing um, these simple books. Okay Other, uh, otherwise you will not get anything from those two books. Those two books are really good. Then matrices and determinants, uh, you can read it from B.S. Grewal only because uh, that book is very simple and uh, quite helpful uh, for the beginner and for the advanced learner also. Algebra of complex number, so this can be read from Spigel. Uh, yes. Then the second part is mechanics and general properties of matter. So very simple things are there in this topic. Newton's laws of motion and applications, velocity and acceleration in Cartesian polar and cylindrical coordinate system. So you need to have clear concept about these three coordinate systems. Then uniformly rotating frame, centrifugal and Coriolis forces. So centrifugal forces is quite common, but uh, Coriolis forces, uh, this is not so common. So you, there is some expression for this Coriolis forces. You can uh, check it on internet, uh, you will get it. Motion under uh, central force, this is a general topic. Uh, this is quite simple. Only. Then Kepler's laws, gravitational law and field, conservative and non-conservative forces system of particles center of mass so center of mass is a very important topic and uh, many questions come from this topic only equation of motion of the center of uh, mass 
कन्जार्भेशन अफ लिनियर एंड एंगुलर मोमेन्टम कन्जार्भेशन अफ एनर्जी सो दिज टू प्रिंसिपल आर भेरी इम्पोर्टेन्ट इन सल्विंग प्रब्लेम्स वेन एवर यू विल गेट क्लासिकल मेकानिक्स प्रब्लेम सो दिज टू प्रिंसिपल्स प्ले एंड भेरी इम्पोर्ट भेरी इम्पोर्टेन्ट रोल इन सल्विंग क्वेश्चन्स फर्स्ट यू इम्प्लय कन्जार्भेशन अफ एंगुलर मोमेन्टम लिनियर मोमेन्टम एंड इफ यू रिक्वायर to apply conservation of angular momentum then you will apply and conservation of energy uh, should also be used to get the solution then variable mass systems elastic and inelastic collisions so uh, these uh, two topics elastic and in the inelastic collisions so you need to understand the difference between uh, these two collision there uh, there is some uh, very fine difference between them so you need to um, be very careful about these two collisions rigid body motion fixed axis rotation rotation and translation moment of inertia and product of inertia moments of inertia and product of inertia these two terms are quite crucial these two terms are not same they are different moment of inertia and uh, products of inertia then two important theorems parallel and perpendicular axis theorem principal moments and axis kinematics of moving fluids equation of continuity euler's equation bernoulli's equations so for this part uh, one book is there uh, by chatterjee and sen gupta that book is a uh, very good for uh, general properties of um, matter section i can uh, tell you the name of the book right now the name of the book is a treatise on general properties of matter by chatterjee and sen gupta okay for the next section oscillation wave and optics uh, there is a book by nk bajaj that book is really helpful for this uh, topic differential equation for simple harmonic oscillator that's quite common you are reading it from class 12 level and its general solution superposition of two or more simple harmonic oscillators lissajous figures damped and force oscillators so um, a simple uh, one or two simple questions come from this uh, topic damped and force oscillators you need to uh, you uh, need to find out the difference between them resonance wave equation traveling and standing waves in one dimension so these topics uh, you uh, must have read in class 12 levels and in bsc level you have to uh, read it in more detail wave equation traveling and standing waves in one dimension energy density energy transmission in waves group velocity phase velocity these two terms are very important group velocity means velocity of the wave packet and phase velocity is the uh, velocity of the individual member of the uh, web packet so try to understand the difference between them group velocity is given by uh, d omega by dk but phase velocity is given by only omega by k sound waves in media doppler effect fermat's principle general theory of image formation thick lens thin lens lens combination interference of light optical path retardation frown upper diffraction rayleigh criteria resolving power diffraction gratings polarization linear circular and elliptical polarization double refraction optical rotation for this part i will uh, recommend you to read two good books one book is uh, by wave and optics by ab gupta and the another one is uh, wave and optics by ajay ghatak these two books are very good by uh, the ab gupta book is quite simple but uh, the ajay ghatak book is uh, is um, comparatively tougher than that than the previous one the next section is electricity and magnetism so what are the um, what are the things we have to read here coulomb's law gauss law electric field and potential these are basic to- uh, basic things we already know this about these things electrostatic boundary conditions this is very important 
many questions come from this section electrostatic boundary conditions solutions of laplace equation for simple cases conductors capacitors capacitors is very important few questions come from capacitors dielectric dielectric polarization volume and surface charges these two terms uh, are very important uh, very uh, questions come from this uh, on these two topics very frequently electrostatic energy by sobert law ampere's law faraday's law of electromagnetic induction self and mutual induction uh, inductance alternating current simple dc and ac circuits with rlc components so up to this this is there in gate also net also in uh, every exam this part is common then alternating current simple dc and ac circuits are lc components displacement current maxwell's equations oh why there is there are three else i don't know and plane electromagnetic waves point pointing theorem reflection and refraction at a del dielectric interface transmission and reflection coefficients normal incidence only so in uh, in jam exam only you have to read normal incidence but for gate and net exam you have to look for uh, oblique incidence also then lorentz force and motion of charged particles in electric and magnetic fields the next part is kinetic theory and thermodynamics for this part i i would recommend the book uh, thermal physics by ab gupta the uh, look the books written by ab gupta are quite i can uh, say those books are the simplest one to understand at uh, beginner uh, to understand at uh, beginning level and um, more uh, any other books also are also there you can read those books so elements of kinetic theory of gases velocity distribution equipartition of energy specific heat of mono dye and triatomic gases ideal gas van der waals gas and equation of state mean free path laws of thermodynamics zeroth law and concept of thermal equilibrium first law and and, and its consequences isothermal and adiabatic processes reversible irreversible and quasi static processes second law and entropy carnot engine maxwell's thermodynamic relation and simple applications so maxwell's uh, thermodynamic relations and simple applications so maxwell uh, has four relations and there is a trick to memorize those four so four relations very easily and that thing is given in uh, ab gupta's book you can check it out simple application thermodynamic potential and their applications phase transition clausius clapeyron equation this part is uh, given in good detail in ab gupta's book ideas of ensembles maxwell boltzmann fermi dirac bose einstein distribution so for this uh, jam exam even if you read only that ev gupta's book for this part kinetic theory then that is sufficient or i can say more than sufficient okay next part is modern physics and for this part i i would uh, recommend the book uh, by arthur beiser and on another book is there by our legend ev gupta so these two books are um, do these two books are self sufficient for this part so inertial frames galilean invariance postulates of special relativity lorentz lorentz transformations length contraction time dilation relativistic velocity addition theorem mass energy equivalence black body radiation photoelectric effect compton effect bohr's atomic model these are um, explained in um, explained briefly in arthur weiser and that is enough for you for jam aspirants x rays wave particle duality uncertainty principle the superposition principle calculation of uh, expectation value schrodinger equations its solution for one two three dimension boxes solution of schrodinger equation for the one dimension harmonic oscillator reflection and transmission at stiff potential so from here quantum mechanics is being started so for this part you can um, refer uh, you can read it from what is that books there actually uh, it's by here yeah, good really good book is there by griffiths so griffiths quantum mechanics is good for this section or if you want um, simpler book 
then you can read it from G. R. L. Das. Mm, that book is uh, very quite simple and easy to understand. Reflection and transmission at step potential, Pauli exponential principle, structure of atomic nucleus, mass and binding energy, radioactivity and application. So for this part, this is uh, nuclear physics part. This can be read from A. B. Gupta's book, Modern Physics. That book is very important. I think you should buy that book. And in that book, you will um, get atomic and molecular physics also. Laws of radioactive decay. So um, there is only few thing uh, from new nuclear physics in iit exam exam okay the last part is solid state physics devices and electronics so for solid state physics the simplest book is uh, by um, rk puri and dk babbar and uh, so pillai these two books and uh, one is one uh, standard book is there uh, by kittel kittel is um, good book you must uh, you must buy that kittel book because that is uh, that will help you in your ms level so what are there in an electronics electronics one book is there by b goes and another one by i don't remember ball state is a good option crystal structure bravais lattice and basis miller indices x ray diffraction and bragg's law intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors variation of resistivity with temperature fermi level pn junction diode iv characteristics jenner diode and its applications bjt characteristics in common base common emitter and common collector modes single stage amplifier two stage rc coupled amplifier simple oscillators barkhausen condition this condition is very important a into beta equals to 1 that is a necessary condition for observing oscillations sinusoidal oscillators op amp application inverting and non inverting amplifier op amp part is very important this is equally important for gate exam or net exam also boolean algebra binary number system conversion from one system to another system like octal to hexadecimal hexadecimal to decimal and many more things are there conversion from one system to another system binary addition subtraction and in this part i would uh, recommend you to read another topic uh, that is carnot map carnot map map is very important to simplify logical expressions so you must know about that uh, map carnot map that is very important and finally logic gates and or not nand or nor exclusive or gate truth tables combination of gates and finally de morgan's theorem so this is all about iit jam physics syllabus so as you can see this syllabus is quite very simple as compared to our csi and net exam okay so if you follow the syllabus and prepare yourself accordingly then you will definitely crack this exam cracking this exam is not a big deal so but you have to be regular and steady and to get more updates like this and to get um, question and answers and if you want to clarify clarify your concepts so you can uh, follow my facebook pages on the same name as well space time and uh, you may subscribe the this channel ss space time on youtube and don't forget to press the bell icon and finally thanks for watching